Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Art Inbound. I'm Joanne Pollock, and I'm here today with Sean Kane. So thank you, Sean, for agreeing to meet with me today. Oh, my, my pleasure, Joanne. Thank you for inviting me. You're originally from Chicago, Sean, but um, you've, you've been based in Guelph, and um, you've been a commercial illustrator for about 25 years, and now you have switched gears from that particular art form and you've moved in, moved into a really unusual and creative art form which you've been doing since 2011 um, and that is designing hand-painted baseball gloves so very cool and okay. I wonder if you could um, share with the viewers please how you decided to get started with this art form well, uh, I've been, like you said, I've been an illustrator for about 25 years, and my love of baseball uh, goes back much farther than that. And it came to a point where I realized I could combine my loves of the game and uh, utilize my art skills and bring them together to create this kind of unique object that not only satisfies me artistically, but can serve a purpose in helping others uh, rekindle memories of maybe their favorite team or favorite player, and at the same time, expose others to stories about the game that they might not know about. And something unique, like a painting on a glove, has a fun quirky quirkiness to it that sometimes can draw, draw viewers in, which, which is a nice benefit. That's kind of why I kind of started going in this direction with my art practice. Can you share some of the details of how your paintings um have have become popular and and some of, some of the baseball greats that you've painted i've been invited to attend different baseball fantasy camps with major league uh, teams and uh, created works for major league teams that they have uh, used as awards for players and gifts for players and uh, that kind of exposure um, opened up uh, greater um, exposure i guess to what i'm doing uh, to the to the um, to a wider audience and helped get on the radar of some of um, some of the institutions where my work resides and some of the players I've painted include Montreal Expo fans will be familiar with Andre Dawson and have also painted um, Roy Halladay who is a pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays especially back in the 90s and early 2000s both of whom are Hall of Famers. Really really cool. Who are your clients Sean? Clients range um, from, like I mentioned, uh, some major league teams, some charities related to baseball, like the uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Foundation, and Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. So institutions, teams, and then individual collectors, people who have a passion for the game, who uh, wanna share that passion, maybe hand down stories of the game to their grandkids. And also then there are opportunities to exhibit the works to, you know, for other people to to experience the works, even if they're not the actual buyers of the work. How many gloves would you typically do in a year and how long does it take you to do one glove? Typically, it ranges during the year. Uh, some years I've painted as many as 16 gloves, other years maybe only 8 to 10, and that is because they do take a long time. So talking 120 to 160 hours, and that involves sourcing the gloves, which can often be a challenge, uh, researching the player and their history, and then designing type, finding photo reference, and then finally getting down to creating the paintings themselves. All those elements I, I'm really interested in doing, but it does take a long time. So that contributes to the amount of output, you know, during a given year. Really a special memento to the collector and also a tribute, of course, to two famous people in the industry. Um, I want to bring Guelph into the equation for a moment, Sean. Sure. Um, and at one time, Guelph was known as the hometown of baseball in Canada. Can you tell us why that was, and is it going to be recognized in some capacity? Yes, well, I'm, I'm learning more and more about Guelph's history and impact on the game. And going back into uh, the late 1800s, uh, the Sleeman's uh, Guelph Maple Leafs team, they were the champions. They were the regional champions. They actually played in the U.S. and became what at the time was considered world champions. If my recollection is correct, they won 41 straight games and they toured North America. So they really did 
build up this reputation that um, helped lead to that kind of uh, Guelph's acknowledgement as, as the hometown of baseball at that time. And uh, there's some other great regional stories about the game. And uh, I, was, I was contacted a month ago by uh, researchers, Canadian baseball researchers, to create a artwork for a book cover that's going to, for a book that's going to be coming out in spring of 22 uh, for the Society of American Baseball Research that is going to be about influential Canadian uh, figures and moments in, in uh, baseball up here in Canada. And uh, so it, it's, it's really exciting for me to have a role in uh, helping to uh, expose others to the, to the rich baseball history around here and also for myself to learn more about this place that I call home now. Awesome. I know that you had a, an opportunity to have an exhibition locally in Guelph last year, and we're hoping that we're going to be able to get you in the forefront in the community once again. So congratulations for a really fascinating career and art form, Sean. I'm sure that not only baseball art lovers, but also art lovers in our community um, we'll enjoy seeing your work and we look forward to having people contact you, Sean. And certainly I personally look forward to meeting you when the opportunity is available. Oh, thanks so much, Joanne. It's been a pleasure to share my work with uh, the Guelph community and, uh, and to talk with you today.